here at the training table here at the University of North Carolina. I'm with head nutritionist Kelsey Gomes. We're going to talk about how these guys fill up their belly every day. Yes. All right. <laughs> so this is where they would start. They come in here, they get their place. Now with all that these guys do every day, classes, weight room, training, what's your main objective? for these guys every day? Yeah, so my main objective is to make sure that they're eating the right foods to help them perform at an optimal level and also recover really well. Mm -hmm. So I think UNC does a really great job because of this training table. Like we feed our guys three times a day, which is huge. So I'm able to be in here every day eating with them, getting to know them, which helps me really for season because I learn and I know how these guys eat. This is gonna be our step one, which is our antioxidants or our fruit and vegetables. So we do fresh fruit daily. So our chefs in the back will cut fruit based on what season. I'll rotate these things throughout. So then still kind of part of our step one, we have our salad bar. So I'll also rotate through these things every single day. I know that our guys aren't gonna love things like quinoa, but it's something that I can also put on here just to expose them to different foods. So I use training table, almost like a learning lab. Every day again, like we're gonna have options on here. So I have four proteins on here every day that will rotate. So mm -hmm. there's always gonna be a lean protein and then maybe like a heavier option for a protein for something that may be a little bit higher calorie. They can take their own like lunch bag and kind of make like their own snacks out of here. So we'll have a variety of different protein bars, bars. I do have one vegetarian, like I said, on the team. So I do some um, vegan like protein bars. Um, and then we have our kind of salty snacks. So for guys like going out to practice or coming back in after a lift or a run to replace their electrolytes. And then on the other side, we kind of have all our protein powders. We've got some of our peanut butter. Um, we do make daily like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches because of homemade yeah, PB and J. Yep. Yeah. So we'll make those. We just made those this morning for our guys so that they can also like pack additional calories. And so usually during the year too, for guys that their weights may be lower, they're having a hard time getting their weights back up after a game. I'll make thousand calorie snack bags for these guys mm. to make sure that they're able to take that with them. And then I just encourage them to make sure they're eating that whole bag by the end of the day. Every day, like we'll do a, I feel like I'm big on the quinoa right now, but we'll do like a, a featured special of the week. So this week it's an Asian quinoa salad. Okay. We'll make turkey sandwiches daily. We'll have hummus, we'll have guacamole, hard boiled eggs, cheese, fresh cut fruit, applesauce, and then we kind of put some other protein shakes down here just that are ready to drink that they can take with them. So other things that they can take with them to class on a daily basis. I don't like to be back here every day making our guys smoothies, so I teach them how to do that. So when they get here as freshmen or when even when they're on their recruiting trips, like I'll do like a demo for them of showing them how to use a glove. So step one, taking a glove, putting it on. And so then that way they can, how they're reaching in here with food safety to not spread germs, That's right. then that way I can make sure if they're picking their fruit and stuff, they have gloves on when they're doing that, That's when right. they're reaching in here. We stuff. date and everything. Um, and then that way, like we're doing, um, and we do sanitize our blenders in the back. So that, that way, again, they're kind of learning that life skill and how to make a smoothie later in life. Wow. Over here in the snack area with Toe Groves, this guy's gonna show us how to make a yes, mean sir. shake. Yes, sir. You had two season ending injuries. Two season ending. In the same year, it's crazy, right? Wow. Same year, you talk about adversity and, you know, Kelsey helping you, your weight got down. So this place means a little bit more to you than the average player. Right. Right. Even, be, even before the injuries, um, you know, I come from a, a poverty and stricter environment where, you know, we didn't have these type of privileges growing up. So once I got here, you know, my weight was already kind of, I was kind of light coming in. And so I was trying to work on building it, building up my muscle mass, really mm -hmm. getting my weight back, to, uh, get it up so that I can, you know, perform at a level where everybody's kind of big. Right. So working on that, building all the way up, and then got to a, a decent weight. And once I got up to that weight, you know, I had that adversity with the, the first injury. You know, fighting back from that, I had lost like at least 10 pounds. I told you I was coming in kind of small, so got down to like 160, 159, soaking wet. I couldn't, have, I couldn't have bounced back like I did off the first one without all of this stuff that we got here. We got a whole bunch of stuff. Now when you, and when you say that, like what was it? You went to Kelsey, you got a plan, and she said this is how you're gonna put the weight back on. Yes, yes sir. So we, we, we talked about some of the ingredients I can put inside my body, things like gelatin that help with tendon, and, and just making smoothies daily, getting fruits and, and nutrients in my body. So we did that, and then we had talked about this thing called fish oil, and it's a, a huge pill that I was like, I ain't, ain't no way I'm taking that pill. <laughs> I couldn't take it. So what we did was we found a way for me to um, kind of, you know, put that in in a shape. So we, uh, she cut the pill up for me, kind of just pour it in there. 
you think that you would get up to the weight that you're at now? I know what. I thought I, my my goal weight for me was like 180, 179. Right. I, I didn't. I did not think I, I had the ability to get up to that. But you know, like I said, with the help of Kelsey and her, her knowledge on these things, she kind of helped me surpass that. So the award that I won was the Muscle Milk Athlete of the Year Award, and that award is um, given to the person who's who's been through some adversities and, and overcame those with the help of nutrition. More food paste in here. No. How you Not like that? I like, like that, it. man. Let's get it, yeah. It is pretty special. Yeah. I like that. Good yes job. Sir. Yes, sir. <laughs>